Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? We're here at Gillis Truck Stop in New Liskert, Ontario. Having fun. We're gonna go deliver some crates just down the road. And then we're heading up to Timmins, Ontario and then to Capus Casing, Ontario. And we're just waiting for a reload to come in. We'll figure out what we're doing in a few hours. Let's get to it. Let's get out there.
Sudbury, Ontario again. Quite the snowstorm I just ran through. <laughs> I'm trying to find somewhere to park. I want to get off the road. There's been nowhere to park, so we're coming into town now. There's got to be something, right? taken up already. All the parking's gonna be gone. I hope there's a spot left for me. It's been a wild ride back again. We went all the way up to Capus Casing and delivered our freight. Now we're back down here. I'll explain it in a bit once I find a place to shut her down for the night. can't be just anywhere because if you park anywhere in an open lot on a night like this, guaranteed middle of the night you're going to be told to move because they got to clear the snow. You got to go to an actual truck stop if at all possible. Everybody 
everybody's all hiding inside. I don't blame them. I'm trying to get to a parking spot too. It's tricky, especially in Ontario, when you have out-of-province plates too. At 600 meters, turn left on Regent Street, RR46. You gotta be careful where you park because there's so many places where trucks aren't allowed. Ontario's bad for that. They'll tell you you gotta get off the road, but they won't give you any place to park. And if you try to get off the road and park somewhere they don't want you to, they'll come and give you a ticket. And then tell you to get off the road. I did get off the road, then you gave me a ticket. All right, here it is on the left. Let's see if we can find a parking spot. This is the exit. Oh, I already see a you parking spot. You have arrived spot. at your destination on the left side, 3070, Rue Regent, RR46. If I don't find one over here, I already see one over there. Another driver. Oh, it is full. It's... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's full. Wow. Everybody wants to get out of the snow. Can we even get through here? seen it so full. Yikes. Well, it is what it is. I had to make a spot. But it's a spot and I'm out of the way. I'll wake up early in the morning. As soon as one of these other trucks in those spots over there move out, maybe I'll just slowly roll mine in there. But uh, I am out of the way here. I got another one of our guys right over here. I feel kind of bad for him because all these guys completely blocked him in. He can't get out. He can't get out till they leave. Not this guy here beside me, but there's a couple other trucks out there. He's completely stuck in there. But uh, I could have, I could see why that happened though. He sort of parked himself crooked sideways against the curb in the back where, where guys usually back in. Uh, especially in weather like this when we're trying to create as many spots as possible. We usually back in here and he's sort of across a couple of them and I, it's not nice of guys to do that. I, I kind of see why they did. They needed to find a place to park. Like everybody, we need to get off the road. So everybody's just making spots. We try not to block anybody in. Uh, like that is absolute last resort. Never block anybody in unless if like you have absolutely no other option. And that means going to the next stop or making a spot somewhere along the side. These guys over here made spots. Got to fit as many trucks in here as we can. And it's pretty full. I've never seen it this full. So uh, I'm going to wake up early, uh, see if this storm has passed over. If not, I'll wait it out a little bit. I got to go about 30 miles south from here and pick up my load tomorrow. It's uh, going to Nisku, Alberta, or Edmonton, Alberta. But I guess I, I skipped over a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of this day. Eh? So, so I was 
rushing to get these deliveries done. So we delivered in Timmins, and then I ran up to Kappa's Casing, delivered there, I went to the Flying J, I had a shower, got my reload, I accepted it, and uh, came down here. That, that, that's all you missed. Uh, I didn't take you into the shower with me. I'm sorry, I know that content is in high demand. But uh, this is this is the wrong, this is, you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> you're not gonna see this guy in the shower. I'm sorry. Don't mean to disappoint you like that. I, I hope you still stay subscribed after uh, now that you know this. Um, yeah, I went there, had a shower, grabbed something to eat, and the weather was great all the way down to Sudbury here until about a hundred kilometers or sixty miles from Sudbury. All of a sudden, just whammy got a hit with this huge storm and we're, we're driving through the bush right so it's not windy at least thank god but it was just calming down like way harder than it is now like this is clear compared to how it was and there was nowhere to stop i can't just stop on the road so i had to keep putting along right it took me like two hours to go the last 60 miles if not more than that but uh whew, we made it and we have a safe spot to park we have a warm truck. The weather's actually not that cold outside. Even if my truck and my bunk heater stopped working, I'm not gonna freeze to death. I got extra blankets, I'd, I'll be just fine. It's like minus five outside. Oh, what's that in Fahrenheit? Here we go. What's minus five Celsius in Fahrenheit? Speak. It's 23. I have her hooked up to my Bluetooth here. One second, let me turn my Bluetooth off. Okay, say it again. What's minus five Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus five degrees Celsius is 23 degrees Fahrenheit. See, I wasn't lying to you. It's also right there. Why would I lie to you? Snowstorms, tell you what. I hope our driver out there doesn't have to leave too early in the morning because he's not going anywhere. They're stuck right there. I don't really have to go anywhere first thing in the morning either. I don't have my load info. I had the address where I'm picking it up or the town I'm picking it up in. Uh, I'm getting all my load info sent to me tomorrow morning and as soon as it comes in or as soon as they get into the office, excuse me, as soon as they get into the office, I'll call them and let them know that, hey, I'm in a snowstorm here. Hopefully everything will be cleared and good to go when the sun comes up. It is what it is. You want to see what it looks like out here? It's pretty crazy. Where's my tube? I've already done, I've already done the walk around. So I know I'm good and I'm out of the way. I'm not blocking anybody in. But for your benefit, for the vlog, this is how much I care about you guys. I'm gonna go back out there again, okay? Risk my life in this storm for you guys. I hope those of you who haven't subscribed yet are gonna subscribe to me for this. I don't wanna go out there. I'm doing it for you, so you can see. All right, you might get some snow on your lens. It might be a bit windy. We'll, we'll see how this turns out, okay? Here we go. See, I got an empty step deck behind me now. I'm right under the light. I'm not blocking that guy in over there behind me. This is a driveway here. Guy's got plenty of room to pull through here. You can probably fit another truck beside me here yet. Huh? Eh. <laughs> that one went in my mouth. Oh, it's okay. It's just snow. Look at this. So there's our guy back over there completely blocked in. Hopefully those guys are going to move before he needs to get moving. Everything is packed on the other side too. Oh, snow hit me right in the eye. That was mean. Nice peak right here, eh? Look at that. 
Nice. These guys here, specifically this uh, green guy, he's the one who blocked in my buddy. And then there's another truck out there in the driveway yet. It's just crazy. And there's me. All my chicken lights. I need more. It's an addiction. We'll go through the snow here. Show you guys the other side of the parking lot. Oh, there's a lot of snow here already. Didn't realize what deep snow I'd be walking through. Nice W9 here. I'm gonna run. This is taking too long. <laughs> okay. These guys over here. Those are the pumps over there. More people parked on the other side. I was lucky to get that spot there. Excuse my huffing and puffing. Now this guy here parked right there. Didn't even straighten out. I think he's stuck. But he's kind of blocking in all of those guys, but looks like they'll be okay. Go back to the truck and Shut her down for the night, shall we? I feel good now. I feel good that we got a good spot. Well, it's not the best spot, but it's a spot. I backed as far back as I could. Right up against the curb there. Look at this. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Well, you did good, old blue. Handled the snow like a boss. Okay. Now go subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Even though I know we uh, there's a bit of a gap in the day. You understand. Man, I'm huffing and puffing. I hear that sometimes in the background while I'm vlogging. I'm walking around, I got this. <gasps> I'm like breathing right into the microphone and I don't even realize it until I'm editing it. And then I'm like, well, I'm not gonna throw this whole clip away. They're just gonna have to listen to me breathe. <laughs> hey, this is a shirt I got from my parents uh, for Christmas, not last year, year before, 2021. Have you seen it already? You probably have. My teacher was wrong. I do get paid to stare out the window all day. And that I do. Have a good night, everybody, or a good day wherever you are. Hit the like button. Do it for the snow blizzard. Chances are, legend has it, if you subscribe and hit the like button, it won't be blizzarding tomorrow.